Hey, what is up, everyone? Summer here on behalf of Summer Judas Crew Productions, and here are some Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition matches I had recently. Uh, it's been a while, certainly, since I've uploaded some Street Fighter Five, you know, Arcade Edition content uh, to this channel. Uh, the reason for that is I've actually been busy with uh, focusing on the other stuff, uh, other videos that I upload that have nothing to do with my own stuff, and uh, you know, I've been having a lot of issues, you know, with uh, with with equipment. You know, for example, you know, my headset. My headset broke around two weeks ago. The headset simply just stopped working one day out of nowhere. So I have to use a different microphone for this. I uh, hope you guys don't mind. This is the microphone that I also use for uh, for Twitch when I'm doing my streams. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it sounds all right. I don't know. I've never actually tried it with uh, for for commentary. I know that for streaming it works fine. But I got no idea if it actually works for very well for uh, commentary. Although it should just be the same thing. And uh, my uh, the Frankenstein last night was giving me a lot of issues. You know, for uh, for some reason the, the Frankenstein just refused to uh, to power on. It was actually in this infinite uh, loop, in just this weird loop where basically uh, it would turn on and off, on and off, on and off, like just endlessly, until I would unplug the, uh, the power supply. And then it turned out that it was actually one of the one of the memory sticks on it was completely dead, so I had to remove that. But so that took me a few hours, you know, to figure that out. Because I had no idea. I thought it had nothing to do with the memory stick, but you know, it, it is what it is. And then on top of that, my fight pad actually broke. It actually broke uh, a few days ago, actually. So these matches that you're looking at right now, these were actually played with my arcade stick. You know what I mean? Which I have not used in a while, but it is good to know that it still works. Um, I had to give it a good clean though, because you know it was full of uh, it was full of dust and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, the arcade stick. I'm actually doing better with this with the arcade stick, to be honest. You know, I thought that I thought with the fight pad I would just do dominate everybody. But uh, with the fight pad, I was actually kind of getting destroyed. But the reason why I was getting destroyed with the fight pad was because the fight pad actually had one of the micro switches on it was broken. Uh, the micro switch were basically if you head down forward to the right, that that micro switch was just completely broken. So basically, I couldn't I couldn't block low. I couldn't block low. Um, on freaking uh, using that fight pass, so I was like, "But well, wait a second, I, I blocked that sweep. Why am I? Why am I getting hit? I blocked that sweep. You know, what I mean, it was because of that because I I, I couldn't block uh, down low to the to the right to the right side. So I got rid of that. You know, the arcade stick was 15 bucks on eBay. That was good, good throw. The arcade stick was 15 bucks. Yeah, okay, he had me locked down here in the corner. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, the arcade stick was actually 15 bucks on eBay, and I actually kind of regret buying it to be honest because it, it lasted a total of three months. You know, I bought it in December. And it broke a few days ago, so there you go. You know what I mean? Oh my god, that was sweet. And uh, yeah, it's kind of thing though. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see. Although I'm gonna see if I can get a new fight pad with the uh, in the next couple of days. But the problem is um, I'm not sure if I actually get the fight pad because I do have the arcade stick, and I'm doing much better with the arcade stick, much better. You know, I'm whooping ass. You know, like for example, this this Akuma right here. I got that sweet perfect on this Akuma. That was a nice crush counter, by the way. Nice setup right there. Yeah, we actually this was actually kind of funny. We both screw up here at the end because basically here I try to do critical art, which didn't come out. Then he does his critical art, which comes out, and then see what I mean? So yeah, we both screwed up at the ending there. That's actually pretty funny. And then after that, I mean, it was actually a miracle. The guy actually hit the uh, the rematch button, which actually did surprise me. Um, you know, there was some lag in the match, but the lag it was wasn't really that bad. It was kind of uh, here and there, you know what I mean? And yes, you know, these matches were actually recorded with my uh, capture card as they were taking place, as you can see. You know, right there, I thought he was gonna hit the rematch button, but he did re hit the rematch button, which is very nice. I have a lot of respect for the guy because of that. Mm. You know, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's somebody that won't hit the rematch button. You know what I mean? I always hit the rematch button. Always, no matter what. Oh my god, that perfect's coming. That perfect's coming. Oh shit, check out the, the combo here. Now, I kind of screwed the combo up here, because I wanted to do the EX Lex there. But it didn't matter. Any air into the Boomba. Very nice. Perfect KO. Very sweet. Very nice. Exquisite. Delicious. Mmm, perfect. Do a body good. And that was a nice read right there. I knew he was going to go for that projectile. And as you can see, I'm actually moving around much better with the stick. I don't know what happened. I mean, you know, before when I used to you know, use the arcade stick, I couldn't actually move around very well with the arcade stick. But now I'm just moving around, you know, like a, like a butterfly. You know, I'm floating like a butterfly and I'm stinging like a bee, you know what I mean? With the arcade stick. Oh, my God. I'm doing pretty good. Somebody says, oh, my baby. That is it. That is all she wrote. Bam. Hamster Akuma got destroyed. Good games. Good game uh, to my uh, opponent here. and uh, Hamster or Havoc, I think it's his name. Good game. Definitely. He's got a solid Akuma, but uh, he just couldn't stack up. He just couldn't stack up to the uh, the Mama Bear here. You know what I mean? Uh, pride. And that was it. 
Alright, so these are some matches I had against the guy uh, recently. And these were actually, no, my bad, these were not recent. These were actually, I actually played these with my uh, my fight pad. I just remember that. I actually played this, the, these matches with my fight pad. And these matches were actually quite good. Um, they were actually really exciting. I really enjoyed them. But this guy is just too weird for my taste. I'm going to be honest. First of all, this guy, he does not use Sonic Booms. For some reason, this guy does not use Sonic Booms. Like, you, you tell me what the hell's going on with that. A Guile that doesn't throw Sonic Booms. It's like a real that doesn't use Hadoukens. Like, that's probably Guile's best tool right there. boom -ba, Very nice. That's actually Guile's best tool. The uh, the Sony game with, with the Sonic Booms and the Flash Kick and all that stuff. That's Guile's best tool. So not to use... I mean... Not using his best tool is like... I don't know. I don't know what to freaking tell you. I got no idea. But yeah, the guy does not... Not one single Sonic Boom. Like, holy crap. He, he does that, though. He's actually using actually Guile's second V-Trigger. Which actually looks quite nice. Oh my god, that was sweet. I actually tried to do the Kikosho there. It didn't come out. There you go. Boom, ba. And that was it. Yep. Slide, baby. Gets them every time, baby. Well, not every time. But, yeah, I mean, it's nice to know that with the Kikosho, I can just cancel that in case they block it. Which is quite nice, definitely. I am really loving that Kikosho, to, uh, to be honest. It's just an amazing freaking... Uh, uh, v trigger, as you will see in in uh, you know in, in the next matches. These matches were actually like I said with the fight path, and they were good and all. But I'm really liking the arcade stick these days. I actually might might get my hands on a, on a more expensive stick one of these days. Screw it. I mean, I'm already I'm already doing pretty good with the stick, right? I mean, I might as well just get a better stick instead of going back to uh, to D pad and whatnot. And uh, here is actually pretty good. I'll give the guy that. He's, he had me locked down in the corner there. Not bad. I actually have to work on that. Oh, excuse me a second. So yeah, I actually have to work on that. Uh, to be honest, uh, you know, when the guys have you, uh, you know, locked down in the uh, in the corner there. But uh, you know, there we go. So yeah, it's got me locked down. And that was it. I think I do a tech here, but it doesn't really matter. Good tech didn't matter. Who went for the knee again? Maybe got me. Yep. I mean, I'm, uh, that's it. I mean, good, good, good lockdown in the corner. I'll give him that. Very good lockdown in the corner. But I can do the same thing. You know what I mean? And actually do the same thing for him. But as you can see, count the Sonic Booms from this guy. Do not one single Sonic Boom. Very nice any air. Nice flash kill. Give him that. That was a sweet flash kick. No, guys. Right, so that was an interesting trade right there. Oh, my God. See what I mean? The flash kick. So this guy's, that's all this guy's got, apparently. Just flash kicks. You know what I mean? Boom. Now I got him in the corner. Very nice. Here we go. Oh, he blocked that shit. And here I'm going to do the EX Spin and Burr kick, which did not come out. That sucks. And he's got that second beat trigger. That second beat trigger might actually be too good. Because he he actually the thing with the V triggers he does the the, uh, the fucking he does the flash game, but it's got like some kind of projectile uh, 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 surrounding it, so it can just go straight through a freaking projectile. I don't know, it's like really freaking weird. He can just throw that out. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you about that fucking. Oh my god, check out the damage here. Check out the damage. Very nice. And let's see here. Mm, oh my god, he fell for the old unblockable. There you go. Well, not an unblockable, but actually breaks guard if you just hold it there. It's quite nice. A lot of people don't know what to do against that yet. You know, I mean, they just sort of just, just stand there like, huh? What's this guy doing? He's charging this, but I don't know. I'll just block it. And what they don't know is that actually breaks the guard. So you can just break their guard and go straight into the critical art right there. Or, you know, just dash in there and throw them like I did. You know what I mean? It, it, just, it, it depends. It's a matter of preference, I would say. And, of course, it depends on what kind of meter you got. You know, if you got a full meter, go for that critical art right there. But keep in mind that it actually does... Uh, Lowered the damage on that. The critical arc does barely any freaking damage. See what I mean? Could have blocked that low. Although that was a crush counter. The uh, I think that right here, uh, right around this match, I think the the the, the fight pad was kind of uh, kind of fucking up here. Although no, it's actually still good for this match. I actually, it actually happened against a Blanca. I think I was fighting this Blanca, and I, for some reason I oh no 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 I just remember some other Chun Li. Yeah, some Chun Li from Canada. I just remember that. And the fight pad was just I couldn't block low. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Oh my god, that was good. That was good flash kick, good any air as well. Boom, and this is it. This is what I'm loving. Oh, check this out. Boom, very nice. I got some freaking uh, Street Fighter 4 flashbacks right there. Uh, I used to do that combo all the time uh, when I used to play uh, Street Fighter 4 online, which, by the way, had great netcode uh, compared to this one. Definitely, you know, the netcode in this one is kind of like meh. I'm gonna be honest. The netcode is just ugh. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about the netcode in this game. Like, I think it's got good netcode, but the problem with the netcode is I think. Both players have to have like this insanely friggin' good connection. I think that's where the problems start. If one pr player has a good connection, the other player has a sort of medium, uh, mediocre connection, then you know what I mean? It's just not, it's just not gonna work. You know what I mean? It, the game, you know, the netcode just sucks. You know, Street Fighter Four didn't matter. 
You didn't need, you didn't need you know insanely freaking good internet to get uh, have amazing matches on Street Fighter 4. I actually remember when I had my first actually uh, modem from uh, from Claro, my first ISP. I actually had two. Uh, I actually had three megabytes download and around, I think one megabyte upload, and I had great matches on uh, Street Fighter 4. But you know now I have faster internet, faster upload, all that shit, and the matches still matches run like shit on Street Fighter 5. So what's going on? Should be the other other way around, right? All right, so the gal is out of the way. Um, this guy's name is, I think, Outin80. Uh, good games to Outin80. Okay, so this was funny. This was a very interesting match because I've seen people talk about. I actually joined a buddy of mine's uh, stream on Twitch, and they were talking about how this game is called Abigail Fighter Five, because Abigail, apparently, from what they were saying in the stream, apparently Abigail is the best character in Street Fighter Five, if you know how to use him. Um, this guy, unfortunately, did not know how to use him, but that is good for me and good for you guys, obviously. But, you know, great match I had against this guy, definitely, especially round two. Oh, my God, round two was just, holy shit, amazing. But, uh, yeah, they always go for that, by the way. They always start off the match with that. I don't know what, I don't know what the hell that's about. They did that reverse there, which is quite quite interesting. I think that Abigail, I think one of the main things about Abigail is he, he's this big, big guy, right? But he has every single tool that a character needs, with the exception of a projectile. But this guy's so fucking big, he doesn't need a projectile. He can just walk right up and punch you. I mean, he takes up the entire fucking screen, so he doesn't need a projectile when you think about it. But, uh, you know, this is a cool stage, by the way. I freaking love the stage. And, uh, yeah, they always go for that. But, you know, the thing is, you just gotta read that shit. Okay, that was good. That was, like, very good. I'll give him that. But, you know, round two, I'm gonna be honest, round two is where it's at. Definitely. You know, round two is like, holy crap. Just destroyed that guy. That's kind of thing, though. You know, I'm at, at this point in time, I'm actually kind of downloading him. That was good. Good setup. Didn't know how to do that. I'm just kind of just downloading him at this point in time. I'm just trying, trying to see what this guy's made of, definitely. Okay, that was good. All right, I think he wanted to follow that up, but he fucked up. And, oh, my God, this is recom. Like I said, in Kosho, the Kosho opens up so many doors for combos. It's, it's amazing. I mean, that's kind of thing, though. Ever since our kid edition came out, I have not gone back to freaking her freaking her uh, her first uh, B trigger, which is also good by the way. I freaking love that B trigger as well. But when it comes to B trigger, I just like this one because of the the amount of options it gives me in terms of combos. Definitely, you know, if you get some guy in the corner and you got that B trigger and you also have meter, holy crap, you're gonna be dealing a lot of damage, as you're gonna see later in the video. But this is the part where I actually destroy the guy. This is where I had enough. I was like, oh my god, no, I've had enough of this guy. Oh my god, boom, you gotta block that low, buddy. And somebody's dizzy. Holy crap. Big damage. Now, unfortunately, you're probably thinking, wow, another perfect. No, it's not a perfect. Yeah, he got that little jab in there. But, nah, I mean, this may as well be a perfect, right? You know what I mean? It's over. I don't think he gets another hit in there. It's done. That's it. All right, then he got that chip damage in there. And that's it. That is it, like I said. And the funny part is, actually, after the match, I was like, okay, so this guy's going to hit the rematch. You know, we're going to have another match. It's going to be great. Because these matches actually ran uh, pretty good. I got no complaints about the, the matches. Uh, you know, the, the like I said, the netcode is good. Sometimes the netcode is, like, insanely very good. Sometimes the netcode is just garbage. I think it has to do also with the, uh, see, see what I mean? I read it up there, and he's, he's thinking about it. Yep, yep, he just took off. There you go. So, uh, as so you can see, you guys are my witnesses. I actually read it up. The guy left right there. All right, so this Ryu, I'm going to be honest, this Ryu to me, this guy just came off as a prick. I'm going to be honest. This guy just came off as a uh, douchebag. A douchebag on autopilot, if you will. Uh, because basically this guy, you know, he came into the match with this 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 plan. He had like this one plan, this whole one autopilot thing. And he's promoting Street Fighter Five like freaking crazy too. I don't know what the hell that's about. You know, the costume here for Ryu. But, uh, you know what I mean, the thing is, that, you know, I actually freaking, that's the thing, I freaking love this, this matchup, you know, Chun-Li versus Ryu, this is a matchup I used to have all the time in uh, Street Fighter 4, so that actually, that experience actually does come in handy, definitely, for Street Fighter 5 still, um, you know, when it comes to Ryu, basically, this is, you just want to be right there, see what I mean? Gotta watch out, though, for that freaking crouching medium kit, which he spams like crazy, by the way, and he's got that, too. So, as you can see, I'm not doing very well this round. Uh, and he got that combo in there. That was nice. That was a nice jump in into the throw. Very nice. Nice setup. I'll give him that. But here's the thing, though. I actually learned from my mistakes. And I actually did learn from that. I was like, but wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to have to play a little bit more patiently. Or just going to have to play a little bit more patiently, as you can see. Already got that first hit in there. One thing I noticed was that this guy actually likes to turtle. So I said, but wait a second. Why is he Shoto turtling? Fuck that shit. And then, yeah, he, he walks right up and throws me. That's interesting. And then any air into the... Oh my god, that was good. That's, that's one thing I'm doing with the with the arcade stick, by the way. 
like I said, I'm moving so fast with the arcade stick that I don't know. I'm, I'm really liking it. I mean, that's not to say I didn't actually. Oh, that was sweet. You yeah, know, the five pad is also good, but I don't know why. I'm really liking my arcade stick definitely. You know, I'm actually falling in love with my arcade stick and all over again. You know, actually, you know, we had like a, I had like a little falling out. You know, with my arcade stick. You know, what I mean, actually, I, I freaking hated it. I hated the side of it. But then once my five pad broke, I had no issue. I was like, what? What the hell? I just go back to the stick. What the heck, right? I still have it. You know what I mean? You guys hear that shit? That's his stick right there. I have it on my desk at all times, by the way. And, uh, yeah, so as you can see, oh my gosh. Yeah, he's not the only one that can walk him through. Oh, he thought it was going to go for a grab. See what I mean? It's working. He went for that Tatsu into the... Okay, so I just pick up his ass and just throw him right into the corner. Very nice. Overhead, you got to block that high body. Into Just walk right up, grab his ass again. We get, we go into a little throwing war here. Throws me. Boom. Now he actually throws me again. Boom. And then that is pretty much it. He is pretty broken. Very nice. Got out of the corner. And oh my god. Okay, one sure you can. That was nice. He just canceled that into the. Yeah, very nice. I thought he was going to go for another throw there, which he didn't. Nice EX spin and Burke. And oh my god. That was a good match. That was like a great match, definitely. But you know, I was actually looking forward to playing this guy again. I thought, hey, he's going to ready up. We're going to have another match. You know, I'll destroy his ass again. You know, now that I've downloaded him. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, he did not ready up. You know, I just stood there. You know, I was like, but what does this guy want to do? You know what I mean? I was like, well, is this guy going to ready up? He's not going to ready up. What's going to happen? He's going to leave. You know what I mean? Oh, he just left. You know what I mean? That's it. All right, so this is the final match I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, This is a match I had actually, oh, just now actually. Actually, no, I, I had this match last night, I think, against another Akuma. And this Akuma, it, same thing, you know, I just destroyed his ass. You know what I mean? But the funny thing is that I actually destroyed his ass using her freaking her, her uh her V trigger. Her second V trigger, the Kosho. Like I said, the the second V trigger is just amazing. Freaking badass, you know what I mean? It's like my case stick and I fall in love with the Kosho. And I'm not letting go, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not letting go. It's like really freaking good. But uh you know and this guy, same thing with this Akuma. He was actually he was kinda of turning a little bit. That's kinda of thing with these uh, Canadian players. They tend to turtle a little bit and just yeah, they just spam throws like crazy. Uh, I don't know why. And then they they're actually screwed up. But then we go for it again, and the second time I do not screw up because I got that. Very nice. And I got that bitch slap in there. Actually, that's her pimp slap. I got that in there. And any year. Oh my god, see that what I mean? That gets them every time. They don't know. Will I go for the crush counter? Will I go for the throw? Will I go low? See what I mean? That's the mix up. Hell, one time. I, I, hell, I can even go for the overhead if I want to. That was nice. Just stomp his stomp his ass. I literally just stomped his neck and just killed him right there. Which is very nice, of course. Lovely, lovely. And then let's see here. Okay, so there I screwed up. I thought he was gonna go for another fireball, but it didn't. And then nice. Oh my god! Yeah, I actually read that back dash. And oh, oh, that was that was a good sweep. That was a good sweep, definitely. Into the throw, very nice. He's got me in the corner. And then yeah, that air fireball is too good. I'm gonna be honest. That air fireball is like insanely freaking good. You know, Kuma can use that to get in all day long against Chun Li, pretty much. And nice combo, nice combo, decent damage, definitely. But my that my combo with the Kikosho, oh, which is right, which is coming up, by the way. You guys are gonna love this combo. Check this out, boom! Check this out, boom! 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 Look at the damage on that. 24 hits, very nice. Oh my God, that's it. That's how she wrote. Get out of here. Time to finish him. Nice. All right, will. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks all for watching. I apologize for the delay in the Street Fighter Five videos, but. Just sorting some things out with my equipment. As you can see, everything is good. All right, so that is pretty much it, guys. Please make sure to comment and subscribe. But the most important thing is to enjoy the content. And also follow me over on Twitch. Later.